Today I'm going to upgrade the trolling motor receptacle on my old Ranger bass boat. I'm upgrading and putting a bigger trolling motor on it and I looked at the receptacle that's on the boat now and it's only a 20 amp rating and the trolling motor that I'm putting on here has a 56 amp draw so that's just not going to cut it. So I picked up this 70 amp trolling motor receptacle. It'll work with either a two wire or a three wire system and I'm gonna get it installed on this boat. So here we go. Now before we get started on this project, make sure to unhook your batteries. I've got the batteries removed right now from this boat, so that's not an issue, but whenever you're working with wires and electricity, make sure to get those batteries unhooked. Okay, now the first thing I need to do is take this front plate out of the way. It's held in with four Phillips screws. So we're gonna get those taken out right now. Now this old receptacle is held in with two screws. We're gonna get those removed. We're gonna get this front plate pulled out and lift out our, our old receptacle and it is held on the back side right here with these two screws. Right, now that we've got that unhooked, we're gonna set this off to the side. And here's the old receptacle. As you can see, it's labeled for 20 amps. It's got the two wires connected. The positive and negative wires, you can see going here and here on the back. This held in with the screws. And then it's got the three prong twist lock type. And we're gonna replace it. Now the wires on this Ranger come into this junction box and we're gonna get them removed from there. Held them with a couple of screws. And here's our new receptacle that we're going to get installed. And on this one, it has the option for up to three wires. As you can see, the this is a two wire system. And so the first wire would be the negative wire, the number one wire. And then this hole would be for the, for the number two wire, which would be the positive. And since it's the two wire setup, we won't be using the third one. Now on this Ranger, the, the hole is just slightly smaller. So I'm gonna use this to make a pattern. And then we're gonna use a Dremel tool, make the hole a little larger. Perfect. All right, I'm really happy with the fit on that. And then my goal was to be able to use that and get the Dremel to just enough so it fits in there perfectly. And then we can just use this backing nut to hold it in place and we won't even need the, uh, the bezel. Now that I've done that, we want to get started on connecting our wires.
And this actually came with a little Allen wrench tool with the connector in the package. So we're gonna use that. Okay, now the wires are gonna be going into the back of these receptacles. And we've got the Allen head that's gonna hold the uh, set screws to hold the wire in there. And so it's a different style connector. So I am going to cut these off right here. Okay, I've got the insulation trim back on the wire, so we're gonna get ready to put it in the receptacle. Um, when you do that, you gotta remember, um, we wanna put the, uh, the screw or anything that we, we need to be on the wires into position before we put it through the receptacle. So we're gonna get the backing nut through here, and then we're gonna stick the wires through the front plate. And uh, then we're gonna get ready to put the wires in and we're going to use some dielectric grease on them, which is good for preventing corrosion. And then, like I said, this is uh, got the three different places for the wire connectors there. And number one, two, and three, we're using two wires for our 24 volt system. And so it says for the number one to be the negative. So we're gonna put the negative number one wire in first. And then we're gonna use the Allen wrench they provided. As you can see, they've got the two set screws. Anytime I do an electrical connection like that, I wanna make sure that it's in there solid, give it a good hard yank, make sure that it's in there. And then now that we've got our, our negative, we're gonna put our positive wire in there. I like to give these wires a little bit of a twist to help them hold together. And then we've got our dielectric grease on there to prevent corrosion. And that'll just prevent headaches down the road. Cause that, whenever you get that corrosion, it causes a higher resistance in the circuit. So you're gonna get less amperage draw. And then you're also gonna get more heat. Um, higher resistance causes heat. So you can have wires that'll start to melt and things like that from that high Resistance. So you definitely do not want any uh, extra resistance from corrosion. And that dielectric grease will help with that. So we like to use it on all our electrical connections when we can. And now this also has the two set screws for the connection. And we're going to get those tightened up here. I've got two wires here that I'm gonna leave disconnected. They were run off the 12 volt uh, battery that was for the uh, other trolling motor. And uh, since they're made for a 12 volt system, we're not gonna connect them because we're running, now running a 24 volt system. So we're gonna leave those unhooked. And those were just to either to check the battery supply or for a cigarette lighter. Now that we've got this connected, we're gonna get it ready to set it in there. Said we've got to slide it in there. We've, that Dremel tool did a really nice job of being able to trim that out. And then we've got our backing nut. So now we just need to, to run this down and tighten it into position. even has a nice little waterproof cover there to keep the rain and moisture out when you've got your trolling motor disconnected. And while you've got your front plate out, you might think about checking your switches, replacing any bad ones, 
and you might also check my channel i've got a, a video there where i show you how to go through and replace any of those bad switches so we're going to go ahead and get this installed back on our ranger 395 vio all right there it is we got the new marinco 70 amp trolling motor plug receptacle installed and that replaces our our 20 amp that we had on the original ranger boat so that's going to support our new larger trolling motor and i can't wait to get it out there and test it out on the water thanks for watching please like and subscribe